Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, it's Sephora Hall in the his house. Sephora Hall. I lost my mind. Did you? I didn't mean to, boo. <laughs> so, y'all, I feel like I have been all over the world trying to get this stuff because I did not want to place an online order right now because it takes longer. In my experience, when you order during the semi, semi sale, <laughs> when you order through the, during the Sephora savings event, it takes longer for your items to get here usually. So I have been, oh, it is, oh, child. shopping is work, honey. It's work. <laughs> Can you say first world problems? <laughs> okay. So y'all, we have a Sephora haul today. And I'm going to have some that are gifts, but I think I'm good to show them. I think. I'm not going to say which ones are mm, I don't know. I think I'm safe to show it. I think I am. So before we get started with the haul, I'm going to show you what's on my lips. I have on new truffle from NYX lip liner 855 and I have on the Guerlain um, lip oil and 309 honey glow. So these will be linked below with a lot of other stuff. So y'all, I'm just going to try to go fast. I haven't had a chance to look at any of this yet. I just, you know, <laughs> I wanted to get this video up by tuesday because that's when the sale is live for everyone so that's my goal and i wanted to mention y'all because i keep forgetting to say this but if when you all are shopping for sephora um during this sale if you would consider using my affiliate links i would really appreciate it honey because um that youtuber i watch it says click a click a link save a life she ain't never lied because <laughs> y'all Oh, so if you want to support me in that way, if you're going to place an order, if you want to use my links, like I said, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it since it's been forever since somebody thought I was deemed worthy enough to even have links. Okay, so first little bag, cotton pads. Nothing exciting. Um, actually, I had like... Uh, Sephora credit card rewards money. So I did a separate order for this and only ended up paying a dollar for both of these with the 30% off. So that's a great deal in my opinion. Okay. This next little bag, let's see what's in here. We're finding out together. Oh, this is the Charlotte Til Tilbury uh, Pillow Talk Dreams Luxury Eyeshadow Palette. So y'all, I was watching Amy Glam. And she is the reason why I purchased this because she did a makeup look using this. I've been interested in purchasing. Okay, am I going to be able to get it open? Purchasing a Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette. Oh my goodness. For a minute, you all. And I just, they're expensive. I don't need any eyeshadow palettes, especially with the way my eyes have been feeling. But she looked, she did a makeup look that was so so stunningly gorgeous that I said this is the one I'm getting so here's the packaging the only thing I've ever purchased from Charlotte to oh yes okay the only thing I've ever purchased from Charlotte Tilbury um, has has been a lip product set and like a lip kit set and the makeup setting spray so I can't wait to play with that eyeshadow because people, I bought it because of her, but I kept hearing people say that Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadow palettes were of just superb quality. So I can't wait to try that. I also picked up the Nest Turkish Rose um, perfume oil. If you all saw my recommendation slash wish list, um, if you haven't seen it, I will link it above. Check it out. I mentioned this as a recommendation and y'all, I just, I just wanted it in my collection for spring. Ooh, smells so good, but I just could not, I didn't want to pay, you know, $102. So I got 
the roll-on, and I think this will last me quite a while because the little mini I had to sample it lasted me quite a while. So that was the little small bag number two. Medium bag number three. This is a gift for someone, and this is where I had to hunt down. I knew this was gonna sell out. I forgot to get it on my first order, and I have used these products. This set comes with a full size of the Whey Body Cleanser in St. Bart's and a full size body cream in St. Bart's. I'm not gonna open this mess with it because I am planning to gift this to someone, but I have these products and absolutely love them, okay? So, small bag number, what in the bag I'm on? Four, that's just pitiful. This is also a gift that's going to go with um, that set. I decided to go ahead and get the Whey Body Scrub because I was like, you, just do the full experience, Shauna, see? And this is a gift also. All this is going together. I got the Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance um, Fragrance Mist to go with that set because I will never forget, y'all. I had to go get my car, something to do with my car. And I wore all of that uh, St. Bart's and this fragrance mist. I can't remember what perfume I used, but I know I was smelling good. That's all you could smell in Firestone was Shaughnessy, honey. So I hope the person who I decided to um, create this little gift set for, I hope they love it. Okay, I think the rest of everything in here is mine. Okay, so I also picked up Oh, they gave me another of the K18 leave-in um, hair mask. I do like these, so, and I didn't want to spend $75 on it, so I decided to, I'm glad that they decided to give me a sample. I should have more than one sample. Y'all going to Sephora. Okay, so Kiehl's, I decided to get this truly targeted acne clearing solution. I was watching Valley Vaughn, the perfume Dawn. She talked about this. And I have not found a topical cream that anything that helps when I get, you know, hormonal acne. So, you know, I have one here I, and I have the pimple patches, but sometimes, you know, those are expensive. I don't want to just always just use a pimple patch and then, by, you know, you use a whole thing of them for one pimple sometimes. So... I wanted to give this a try because Kiehl's, I was so impressed with the toner. I wanted to try more products, so I hope that one works. I also picked up, this is after what, well, let me show you this first. I also picked up my Burberry Blush in the Travel Spray. Y'all, I remember smelling this and liking it, but I never, ever just purchased it. So I can't remember... I don't want to buy a full bottle of it. I wanted to see if I really loved it because I've only like sniffed it, sprayed it once on my hand or something, and I just couldn't remember. So I got the travel spray. You can find this on discount website. So if I fall in love with it, that's where I'll end up purchasing it. So I did pick up that. And these two items are from watching um, AI the Great, okay? I had purchased one rare beauty blush soft pinch luminous powder blush okay and i said i'm only gonna get one because i i don't know the formulation i don't know blah 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 i was watching ai the great and she had this color on and happy and i said well add to cart because it looked she has made me purchase uh two now two pink blushes because they look so good on her cheeks so this, oh, oh my goodness. Now y'all, I'm not swatching, but that looks stunning because there are videos where they have swatches, they try them out, everything. And I have been, this is after work. This was solar eclipse day at work, schedule messed up. Then after work, I was running all over, picking up stuff to do these gift baskets I'm doing. So and the, the angle of the camera might have changed because you know, I'm filming my phone so I can't see, but I accidentally hit my light stand. So if, you know, I hope it's in focus. Um, What was I saying? Oh, so that's why I'm not swatching you all. I don't want this video to be super duper duper long. And yeah, I still have more work that needs to be done. 
Okay, so this is also from AI the Great. I tried to resist this. I tried. I tried and tried and tried. But it wouldn't leave my mind. It wouldn't leave my mind. So, I watched numerous reviews on this. I read about it on Fragrantica. And I'm getting such mixed reviews. Such mixed reviews. So, I said, you know what? I'm just going to get it for my own doggone self. I'm going to try it out. If I don't like it, it's going back jack. And that is the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. Um, I think Francis Kirk uh worked with the uh, perfumer on this perfume that uh, created a lot of the Dior fragrances, especially the Miss Dior line. And I have two, I have Absolutely Blooming. Well, no, I have three from this line. And it is a beautiful line, but I really wasn't like really interested or thinking about this until AI the Grey, I heard her talk about it a few times and I was like, okay. And then I said, no, I'm not getting it. I haven't smelled it. I don't need any perfumes. It doesn't come in a travel spray. I want the travel spray. But, oh, it's so cute. So I got a little one ounce. I got the little one ounce while it's on sale. Well, while I can use my 20% off, I'm going to try it. And I'm not going to smell it now, you all, because like I don't have time. And I will see what my thoughts are about it and if I decide to keep it or not because it just would not leave my mind and i i don't feel like it was going to sell out or anything i didn't think because i don't know i don't know why it wouldn't leave my mind <laughs> so i got it now this is the big bag this was my first order and this is all for me honey all for me so the first item i see here is the jisoo honey infused hair perfume you all know if you've been watching me i have the original honey and this is supposed to be the floral version of it and i have been looking at this for over a year and i finally decided to get it during this sale it smells nice i don't even have to spray it it just smells like a soft rosy perfume if you don't like rose, you're not going to like it, but I do think it's pretty and I'm glad I have it. I do really love those um, honey perfumes. Y'all need to take that stuff out of the bag because it was, it was getting on my nerves. So I picked up the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops. Y'all had to know I was getting these. I mentioned them in that video. I love the original Dew Drops, so why not try these, especially for summer? I cannot wait to see what I think about those. Y'all, I am I am perturbed right now because I'm not seeing a product that I want it for sure. I do not see it. And when I started pulling everything out of my bag and now I'm going to have to go check it because I'm upset. Especially if I paid for it and it's not in here and I thought I was finished going to Sephora. But, oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm like ticked off right now. Okay, I also picked up, uh, well, I picked this up from Glow Recipe. I'm almost out of my facial cleanser, so I need another one. This is the Avocado Ceramide Moisture Barrier Cleanser. I have always wanted to try a facial cleanser from Glow Recipe. But I never found, the blueberry one didn't call to me, but this one got so many great reviews. I cannot wait to see if I fall in love with the face cleanser like I've fallen in love with everything else from Glow Recipe. I also picked up this Amika Smooth Over Frizz Fighting Treatment. I love these little quick like 30 second, one minute uh, hair treatments. So I wanted to give this one a try. I think that's all. I think I purchased um, one during the last sale. So this way I will have tried all of them, which I wanted to. I was going through my hair collection and realized, hair product collection and realized that I'm getting ready to need to stock up, restock up on hair gel. So I've been wanting to try this bread hair gel. So I decided to get it. I'm not going to lie. I looked at Ulta first because I like their point system better. But alas, it was you had to order it online. So I picked this up. I can't wait to try it. See, you know, what I think about it. Let's see what I want to show next. Um, I told you all in, uh, 
I can't remember which video. I was talking about the Hany products. And I tried the oil, fell in love, and said I'm getting more. So I did pick up the Cocoon Cleanse Serum, um, Concentrated Serum Cleanser for Body. It's their soap. So, let's see. Woo, this smells like minty rose. I don't know if I like the way this smells. This smells like <laughs> it's supposed to be good for your skin, so that's a good thing. I also picked up the in shower moisture treatment for the body. So let's see. I'm just ripping this stuff, y'all, because I do not have the patience right now. I'm still thinking about that one product I'm gonna tell y'all about. So let's see how this smells. Mm, that's how it looks. I mean, it smells like a nice, it doesn't smell to me as good as the body oil, but I have to try it. I'm not going to write it off. And the last product I got from Hany is the Water Balm. I was so interested in trying this. I've been wanting to try these products for over a year, but other things always, you know, beat them out. But not this time after I tried that oil. So I'm really curious about this. So, and that looks like a gel consistency almost. I can't wait to try this out. I can't wait to try this out and I will let you all know. And I have one other thing that is non-makeup related. So I did pick up the Skylar Beauty Hair Mist, Hair and Body Mist and Boardwalk Delight. I've been interested in these um, fragrance mists because I just don't understand why they're thirty dollars and you for two point seven ounces when you have other brands. They seem overpriced to me, and I, I've seen I saw different uh, YouTubers. They receive them in PR and then they're giving them away or you know decluttering them. So I wanted to try one and see if I liked it, like them, give a review on it. And this is my favorite scent from Skylar I've tried thus far. So this is the one I picked up. Okay, before I get to show you the um, rest of the makeup, I'm going to tell you a product that they forgot, and I am just so upset. Now, what is this? Oh, I forgot I got that. I put in here the Yummy Skin, and if it's sold out, I'm going to be ticked off. The Yummy Skin um, Face Tint because I'm almost out of my face tint and I wanted to try that one and they didn't put it in here and it was not listed as, um, it wasn't listed as out of stock, it, you know, because you get the alert. That's how I had to go around looking for other Sephora's to get this some of this stuff and I'm missing something else, y'all. Am I missing a bag? And I'm doing all this talking and it's my fault because I don't have a bag in here. Um, I think that may be the reason. So, good Lord, how many bags do I have? So y'all, I'm gonna have to go, after I do this, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go look and see. It's, it's another small bag somewhere. I just don't know, I have to go find it for this haul. And it better be in there. So y'all, this is the other thing I purchased from watching Amy Glam. Oh my goodness, this is wrapped up tight. Hold on. This is a Danessa Myricks Beauty Infinite Chrome Flakes. And I was like, Shawnee, you are you are ridiculous because you're having so many issues with your eyes. Why are you getting this? But y'all, she that look, she did look so doggone good. And um, I had to get this. And this is in Sweet Tooth. I mean, ooh. And this isn't the first time. Okay. Y'all, I don't know if I'm going to get this open. This isn't the first time I am hearing about this product. I've heard A.I. the Great talk about it. But when she did that makeup look, honey, she sold me. So I can't wait to try this. I don't know if it's going to make my eyes more irritated than they are already. Because I know I shouldn't be wearing makeup, but I still am. Okay. I also picked up, and this is, I've resisted and resisted and resisted. 
and I just didn't resist this time. This is the YSL Mini Couture Mini Clutch eyeshadow palette in 200, because y'all, I don't know, something dream. So I wanted one of these right when I saw them, but I was like, girl, you don't need this. But y'all, I am planning to really, to declutter, ooh, some eyeshadows in my collection because they're just irritating my eyes. And I, I'm really paying attention. Some just more so than others. So I said, I'm gonna get this. It looks pretty. Oh my goodness. I was watching, I cannot think of her name. Leah Janae. And she was saying how these this formulation was just perfection. So I did, y'all. I bit the bullet and got it. We I hope I better love it. So I showed you the the rare beauty blush that um ai the great had me get this is the one i originally picked out for me and this is hope so i feel like with rare beauty blushes the two i picked out right now and from watching a video on swatches i feel like i'm good Ooh, yes. i should i wanted to wear this blush today but i didn't want to i wanted to show everything in the haul before i wore it so that looks gorgeous. I have two more blushes and they're both from Patrick Ta. And this is one of the newer ones. They're both, uh, I got two of the three that came out just recently that he added to his line. And this is just enough. This pink looked like the perfect pink. And y'all, I am one, I love a pink blush. Oh. And you might say, this is too light for you, Shaughnessy. Y'all, it's something about these Patrick Ta blushes. They're super pigmented. So I was like, if I want that just beautiful, just barely there, like doll pink look, and I don't want the hot pink look, I said, what better brand, what better blush than to try it on my skin tone than Patrick Ta? So I can't, oh my goodness, I can't wait. And this is the one I knew I was going to get. This is the one that was sold out everywhere. And I found it one Sephora near me. This is not too much. Because again, I like a nudie. The type of blushes I like are nudie, sheeny, or pinky. That's that's my go-to. Or like purple, mauve -y. So, oh, this is a me kind of color too. I just, oh my goodness. They look so good. So yes. Got those blushes. And you all, I picked up the Dior Forever Glow Start Filter. Y'all, when this, when I saw this product come out, I was like, oh. But then I was watching, did this come on a pump? Yes. I was watching someone's video from Sephora and they put this on their skin and it looked beautiful on its own. So this is what I wanted to use as a skin tint also. It's like glowy, pretty, her skin just looked natural. So I can't wait to try this. I have never purchased a Dior face product in my life. The only thing I purchased from Dior have been some mascaras, lip products, and I think one or two eyeshadow palettes, which I was not impressed with. So I cannot wait to try that. I also picked up another thing I told you all I wanted back in my collection, Indian Jasmine uh, perfume oil from Ness. If you haven't seen my uh, Sephora recommendations for the fragrances for this sale, I will link it above, check it out. I love this. I have a drop left of my little sample set that I got in my, um, that kit I bought. So I knew I wanted to get the Rose and the Indian Jasmine. They're my favorites. So y'all knew this was coming. The rest is lip products. Okay, so Milk came out with a lip oil. It was a no-brainer. I was going to try one. Dream Machine. At first, I had them all in my cart. And then I was like, girl, get a grip. And plus, I was watching someone's video. And she said that they mostly look clear. So I just decided to get this color. It's like the guava color because I don't have a pink that looks exactly like this. Oh, this has like a fruity type of smell. And I love the pink glosses. I love the milk glosses. So I knew I wanted to try this. I cannot wait to try it. Cannot wait to try it. Might wear that tomorrow. 
And then I also picked up from watching someone's video because I got the lip oil in this house labs by Lady Gaga and I don't like those lip oils at all. So I just got one of this uh, PhD hybrid lip glaze and I got it in the, in the color macaron because you know, people, I've seen quite a few people rave about this, but I did not like that lip oil at all, okay? So, I got this, and we're going to see what I think. I might wear this tomorrow. I don't know. I got too many things over here to play with. So, Huda Beauty came out with glosses. I was hoping and living on the prayer. They'd be like, girl, you want to be on the PR list? I would have been like, yes. <laughs> so, I picked up two. I picked up Posh. And I just, these are on the more affordable side. And I just wanted to try them. Well, this one looks like darker than I thought. I was trying to get spring, summer colors. So I don't know about this one. The packaging, I know some people are like, oh, the packaging is so cute. To me, the packaging is, it just reminds me of Maybelline packaging of their glosses. You know, it, it reminds me, sorry, of drugstore packaging. Not what I would think of at getting at Sephora. So we're going to see how this color looks because it is darker than I thought. Uh, and I picked up Sugar Baby. This was a no-brainer for me. Pink, yes, getting it. Really, I have, ooh, this is very light. I don't know about this one. I don't know. I think, I think it'll be okay. So, these just smell like, you know, like a standard, like, sweet type of lip gloss. So, I'll see what I think about those. And if I love them, then I may get more, you know, at the next Sephora sale. Um, I also picked up two of the new Patrick Ta lip glosses. This is Need Her. Once these were released, I wanted to get some of them. But I was like, no, girl. And this, too. Like, what in the world? I have okay so this looks like a me color and I plan to declutter um, quite a few a lot I plan to declutter a lot of makeup because y'all I have noticed I keep makeup forever way past when it's supposed to be expired and I, and I don't believe in that six months expiration date but some is just ridiculous and I feel like it yeah I just feel like it's time to let some stuff go um this is in say less this is the one I was, ooh, that is very like stark chalky pink. So we're going to have to see about these because I don't know. But I am excited to play with them. Um, I got the ones I really, really wanted for now. And as you can see, I tend to go for the same type of colors. So that's why another reason why I'm going to be decluttering. So y'all, let me let me stop right now and let me go see if I can find this small little bag and hope the other two products are in there that I think I purchased. Ha, ah, got the other bag. Okay, y'all. So here it is. After me going off, and I'm gonna leave it in the video too. <laughs> uh, this is a Danessa Myers Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. I saw a lot of people, this had been on my list. Like I always have things on my wish list at Sephora. And then I kind of go off of that list and then new products that are coming out. Cause this is the time during the Sephora sale when I spend the most at Sephora. I don't shop at Sephora like year round hardcore. I shop twice a year and then I replenish or if there's something special, I will pick that up. But it is not an all the time thing for me. So, this had been on my list for a minute. A lot of people were, I saw people recommending this in their videos. So, I was like, I think I chose well for my next skin tint. So, I can't wait to try this also. And then the very last thing that I purchased was another blush. And I told you all I was obsessed with blushes. And I've never purchased a Gucci makeup product ever. And this is the blush, Rosy Beige. Again, probably looks like other blushes I have in my collection. Did that stop me? No. Oh, look at the packaging. That is so cute. Okay, how do you open this? 
Okay. Ooh. You know, this kind of looks like I was seeing if it had that smell. Okay, this is packaging is kind of awkward. Um, it kind of looks like that the blush I have on today, actually, from oh my goodness, Armani blushes, those blushes. It kind of looks like um the that blush a little bit. But this one to me has more sheen. So we shall see. So y'all, that's everything. I feel like for the most part, I'm done with this sale. I'm going to be looking to see if they what new products they add because they'll add new products throughout the sale. But as far as like, oh, I need this. Oh, I forgot this. I really don't. I feel like I'm pretty good because I really don't want to place an online order because I was watching AI the Great. And I was thinking about that Fenty Body Butter um, that's like her perfume. And that's been on my list since it came out. But I've never just bit the bullet. But after listening to her, I was like, oh, I think, I think I'm going to get it. But it wasn't in stock anywhere in my stores. So I just don't feel like an online order, you all. I just don't. I just want my stuff. Because I want to film it, show it to you all, try it out. Maybe do a random review Wednesday. I don't know. So I was like, no, I just don't feel like ordering anything online. So, and, and from watching other people's videos, nothing is making me want to spend more money um, as of yet. <laughs> so I feel like this is going to be it. I really, really do. And if there's another haul, it will be very small minuscule okay because i did some damage and now i need to sit down somewhere so if you all enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below tell me did you shop the sale did you pass on the sale i know some people are very negative towards the sephora sale some people love it i'm one that loves it because like i said i shop twice a year like hardcore at sephora twice a year winter uh winter savings event and spring savings event and that's my hardcore shopping in sephora twice a year boo <laughs> so i love the sale i do i enjoy it so if you just tell me your thoughts on the sephora sale down below tell me what you're on what you got what's on your wish list what you plan to get you know everybody can shop now when this video is going to be posted that's why i wanted to wait you should do my my haul immediately but i was like no let me wait until everybody can participate in the sale so that's how i decided to do it this go around please share this video with everyone you all who who loves the Sephora sale, loves the Sephora sale. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.